Hi guys, I'm here for another video. I try to get up one weekly lately. I've been kind of slacking and stuff, and I'm sorry about that. But it's not really that I've been slacking as much as I just don't really have a lot of videos to put up because I was reading three books. These three books are for my TBR this month, and I reread them, so I'm not doing individual reviews on each and every single one from the series. I'm just doing the first three in the series, and then I'm going to be reading the prequel, which right now I'm reading. So, yeah, I'm going to tell you my thoughts on each of these individual books, as well as the entire thing as a whole. So, let's get started. Alright, so the first book in the trilogy, or series, or whatever, is The Maze Runner, which is why it's called The Maze Runner Trilogy, and it is by James Dashner, and I love the cover, first of all. cover is stinking amazing. This is my favorite cover out of all of the covers from the series, even the prequel, and I love this one. It's just so perfect for what this entire book is about, and, like, picturing the maze and all of that, it was really really cool to be able to like picture it and see it so it was really nice also i would just to see the storyline and the characters in this book are like phenomenal i didn't i couldn't like comprehend how amazing james dashner is at not only making great characters and a great storyline but putting the two together and making it mesh in such a way that you can't live without one or the other because it's so good. So having this book have both of those traits was ugh, amazing. And that I think is why I love this book so much. It's one of, it's just so good. It's so good. It's so good. I don't know what else to say, but this book is so good. In case you don't know what this uh, series is about, I'll just kind of give you a brief scenario. I'm just going to tell you about the first book, obviously. But this book is about a boy named Thomas, and he's living in a maze without any memories other than his first name. He only knows that his name is Thomas. And he's living in a maze with a whole bunch of boys, teenage boys. And um, he's just kind of put there, and he has no idea why he's there. No one else knows why they're there. And they're trying to find a way out of this ginormous maze um, surrounding the place where they live, which is the glade, which is like the middle of the maze where they live. So it's really, really interesting, and it's sci-fi, so yeah, that's sort of the gist of the book, but there's so much more than that, so yeah, check it out. The next book in the trilogy is The Scorch Trials, and the back says the maze was only the beginning in huge letters, letting you know that seriously they mean business and they really did um i had already re i was since i was rereading these books i already knew all of the storyline things that were going on so i already knew it was going to be amazing i already knew the characters were going to be amazing and i already knew all of that stuff so by rereading it i felt so much more fulfilled in like the actual story because sometimes you just kind of graze through some of that stuff and you forget half of it and so it was really really cool to be able to read it again and yeah, I just, it was so good. So, um, a lot of people say that the second book in this trilogy isn't as good, and they thought it was their, its downfall, and honestly, I love this book. The first time I read it, I thought it was its downfall, but by rereading it, I actually don't think so. My opinion has definitely changed. This book was still just as good, especially when you get towards the end. Everything just falls apart and drops out of Thomas's world, and the sky just drops out of his world. It's ridiculous. And I can't tell you obviously what happens, but this book I think actually was really good and wasn't um its downfall. So honestly I think this book is just as good as the first two. It's not like the Mocking Jay and the Hunger Games. It's not that bad. It's quite good. I really like this book. Also again, the entire series has this beautiful layout of the cover. And the cover seriously tells you, like, so much about the story, and I love that. I hate it when they're just, like, you know, typical girls in ball gowns. I mean, this is the true stuff, guys. So, The Death Cure is the last book in the trilogy, um, and it was... <sighs> what the heck? Oh my gosh. It was just even more exciting to read it the second time. I 
loved it again and again. It was just so good. And if you have the exclusive version, sometimes exclusives totally suck, but these ones really give you insight onto more of the story that you didn't really get to know before. So if you do have the exclusive and you haven't read this book yet, seriously wait until you're done reading because if you don't it's going to be really really sad to have read it before you finish the book because spoilers anyway um the theme for this book is the time for lies is over and it totally is again the series has that beautiful layout of the cover oh sorry glares beautiful layout of the cover. It's got so much. You don't exactly know what all of this means until farther into the book, so you might be confused as to why it looks like this. I remember the first time reading it, um, I had no idea what the whole point in this winter wonderland thing was, but you'll understand it later. Rereading this book was just... It was so great to reread it because the first time I read it, I was just raring to find out what happened that I just kind of flew through it. And it's really nice to actually know more of the story and little hints and things that you missed out on the first time. And I think that's the whole point of rereading. And this is the first series that I've actually fully reread. Like sometimes you'll just pick up a book and reread like sections of it. But this is where I honestly went through it and just kept reading it. So now I'm going to talk about the series as a whole. Everything that happened, no spoilers obviously, but everything, the, just the whole thing. So when talking about this entire series, all I can really say is when rereading it, yes you get more story, yes you get more characters, yes you get more of everything, which is the whole point of rereading. But another thing that you get is more, like, you get more feeling towards the characters. And I think that was a really really great thing because I loved the characters the first time I read it and just rereading it was even all the better. Also, if you, just saying this out loud, if you have not read this series yet, seriously, read it. It is so good. It should definitely be on your list. I loved it. A lot of other people loved it. Some people just thought it was bad, but I don't know what they're thinking. I'm not saying they don't have, they can't have that opinion, but seriously, I don't know what went wrong. There was seriously something I was thinking about that I was going to say, and I honestly don't remember what I was going to say. Don't you hate that? I hate that. It'll come back to me in a minute. Just, just a minute. Another thing that I loved overall is that each and every book in this series had a unique factor to it that made the story continue to build. And, oh, another thing that totally surprised me when rereading a book is that I never thought that when rereading a book, you actually couldn't put the book down. Even though you already know what's going to happen, I, I seriously, literally could not put the thing down. I just kept holding it in my hands and reading the pages. So, I don't know if that's all rereading experiences, because I don't reread that book books very often, but seriously, what the heck? That was amazing. I seriously didn't think that was ever going to happen. Maybe it's just the Maze Runner because I loved it so much, but I really don't know. Anyway, I don't have any more time on my thingy to keep recording, so I am going to go now. And I'm sorry if this video and review-ish thing was really kind of out of place because it was kind of hard to film because it's about three books. But sorry, hopefully you got something out of it. Read the series, it's amazing, and reread it afterwards to get what I'm talking about. So yeah, I'm going to go. Um, I'll let you know what I think of the prequel, and yeah, bye guys!